You ever have one of those days where you just wish Hollywood would just make new, make something new, take any ideas? Hell, I got ideas. Hollywood, take me. Okay, I can't even finish that sentence. Bottom line is, I don't have too high hopes for this movie. I really don't. I used to like um, Space Jam when I was a kid, but looking back on it, the flaws are so numerous. It's still an enjoyable movie, but it is, it's not a good movie. I mean, you know, it's just, I mean, it's based off of a fucking commercial, for God's sakes. So, let's see what this one's got. Oh, boy. Honestly, I don't have good opinions about this movie yet. I don't have anything good to think about this movie until it's shown me otherwise. And yes, I know that's a guilty versus, I mean, guilty until proven innocent thing. I'm sorry, but from what I've heard of the movie, it's not going to be good. So, you know, let's, uh, let's do this. And that how everybody get into base? I mean, basketball these days. Uh, sorry, sorry. My mind was on something else. It, it pulled up sports, and the first thing that came to its mind was baseball. <sighs> that again, I guess that's what happens when you play baseball. So let's continue onward. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Plot 13A Parental Child Divide. That starts the plot. Are you not even joking? I basically have a punch card for these kinds of movies. Woody Woodpecker ended up getting me my ninth one. And this one, if it actually turns out to follow this plot to the T, well, let's just say I get a free trip to Jersey Mike's. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Okay, serve a room with... What? What? That's what I want to know. What the hell? Huh? What? What's there? What? It, it, Wizard of Oz? What? What? It, hold it, hold it, hold it. What the shit? Okay. Okay. LeBron James is in server room. Kid is in server room. Kid goes into weird bullshit ball. LeBron James is pulled into weird bullshit ball. LeBron James is then pulled into space, sees a planet based off Game of Thrones, then flies past planet based off of Wizard of Oz. What the fuck is happening? And it's now being threatened by giant John Cheadle. What the fuck was that? My money's on it. Wait, what? I was going to make a joke about betting on Don Cheadle, but wait, what? Toon World, The Rejects? Well, that has... Well, that is how Warner Brothers has been treating Looney Tunes as of recent years. What? Looney Tunes playing... What? Basketball clout? What? I'll admit the animation looks good, but I don't know. It just feels a bit off. I don't know why, but it's just something that just doesn't feel right. You know? It's just a tiny niggling feeling. Okay, wait a fuck. Wait. Humor me. Humor me, please. Okay. 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 Yo, land in Looney Tune world. You need to assemble a team from what you've got. And your first four thoughts are Superman, Gandalf, King Kong, Iron Giant. 
how does this joke work? Like, I get, I, I get he's making a joke based around who would be ideal for basketball, and while that is a ideal team of Warner Brothers characters, but these four are the first he thinks about when he's surrounded by Looney Tunes. These four are the first people he thinks of when he lands in a world of Looney Tunes. These people are the first he thinks about when he lands in a world of Looney Tunes. Do I even need to explain how stupid this is? Huh. Is that really supposed to be Lola Bunny? Really? All right, last time I checked, she was about up to his... Uh, maybe halfway up his forearm, you know? Um, you know, uh, somewhere about, uh, say, here-ish, in comparison. I, I mean, it looks like she was just kind of put in the... It kind of looks like she was put in the pneumatic press a few too many times, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, okay, that's funny. I'll give you that. That's funny. I'll give you that, but... While I do find this scene funny, telling Yosemite Sam to shoot the ball, it's just look at those guns, too. I mean, I get that they're supposed to not be like real guns, but Sam's been known to use revolvers, and those are clearly what he's using, but they kind of look like they're supposed to be short hunting rifles, you know? Or like small flintlocks, even. I, I don't know. I just find that kind of detail a bit funny, you know? Like, the animators just thought, Oh, there's a bunch of gun stuff here. Why don't we just take them together and just put them like that? And then, boom! And then they just thought revolver specifically because it's just they say, Oh, man, I wonder what Elmer's shotgun will... Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. They got rid of that. Let's keep going. Okay, what's gonna happen? What? Okay, he's back to being really... No, 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 no. Please... Please, for the love of shit, tell me that the Looney Tunes don't end up realistic. I think I'm going to shit my pants in fear if I see that. Like, seriously, can you imagine Daffy Duck realistic? That would be freaky. So, what is this? The... The Mystery Machine? What? 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 Kong? What? Flintstones? What? 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 I don't even know anymore. I, I just really don't. Like... Is that a scene just so that, you know, Warner Brothers can just showcase all the characters they got? Is that it? Just sort of a showcase, like, what Disney could do at literally any given moment? I am... This movie's lost me. Like, I feel like I need a fucking roadmap to get back on board. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Hopefully there's something here that could make some semblance of sense. Who the fuck was that? Listen, I I'm sorry, I really am, but... They're just putting this character, who is not important to the plot at all, and just says, you got to win this battle. Like, she just appears out of nowhere just to tell LeBron James what he, what his character already knows. I, I don't even know anymore, man.
That's his mother. Well, if that's the case, then where the fuck did she come from? I mean, was she pulled in? Did Don Cheeto just magic techno bullshit her her into this world? I mean, I'm, can you see how confused I am? L like, this isn't like a tiny thing of the plot. This is the fucking story. Let's keep going. Okay, that's... What? 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 Wall? What? What? Wall? Basketball? Wall? What? Hit wall? Between? What? Okay, first off, Tweety, shut the fuck up. That's obviously cheating. Like, I... I get, you want to inject comedy into this, and... Well, you at least want to try something that matches up with the Looney Tunes... Something that can actually match the tone at the very bit. At the at least the tiniest level, but, um... How should I put this? Making a joke at that tense of a moment when a life is on the line and someone is obviously cheating and going up to that person who was cheated out of them, who is on your side, by the way, and just mocking their failure... Because of said cheating. That is not that funny. In fact, it makes the character making the joke look like an asshole. I don't know if you had that intended effect. I don't I don't want to believe you had that intended effect. But that is how it looks. It makes Tweety look like an asshole. And, and, and for that sake, what horse do the, tune, do the Looney Tunes have in this? You know what? That's probably just a mute question because it's it's a stupid question to have when you're showing a trailer. But I can already predict the ending, too. You want to know something funny? I bet you I can predict the ending fairly accurately. LeBron James manages to, against the old odds, win a goal. Don Cheadle gets angry. They uphold the deal. And then there's this lovey dovey moment between LeBron and his wife. While a happy moment between father and son occurs on screen. You know, something like that. Because I'm just guessing. I'm also just guessing that there are hard times between James's character and the character's wife. I mean, that's where all these fucking plot points go. So why not guess that? Carry on. You know, I don't even get the idea of the monster ones behind this one. I mean, the Monstars, as stupid as shit as they were, at least made... Okay, they were still stupid, they made no sense, but they weren't, like, actual monsters. They were these tiny little aliens that just morphed by stealing... And I can't believe I'm about to fucking say this. The talent of other basketball players... As stupid as that is, they weren't like actual monsters. So, why have actual monsters? Like a fucking robot, a harpy, a naga. N A G A, by the way. I can't believe I actually had to spell that word out. It used to be where you didn't have to spell that out, but. Never know, this world's just getting stupider by the second. Anyway, let's just continue. Because I'm betting something dumb's about to happen here. Okay. So, um... I'm just gonna say it. I don't have high hopes for this movie. It could be good. I very much could be wrong. But um, everything in this the this this trailer just oh, I need some ibuprofen. I'm the star man. This was a uh, you know analysis or reaction or what the fuck ever video whatever gets us uh, whatever gets the algorithm to notice. 
And this has been a headache inducing experience. At least my producer's on the other side with some, you know, with some ibuprofen on hand. Told her the whole thing and, you know, not bad. So, Starman out and by God, I need ibuprofen.